Okay, this is April 26, 2003. We're at the Peabody Public Library interviewing William Hicks for the Veterans History Project. My name is Deb Henney, and we'll just get on with the interview then. Uh, we need to know what branch of service you were in. Army. And what war or rank? Um. The war that I, I served during was uh, Vietnam, and the highest rank that I held was first lieutenant. And were you drafted or did you enlist? No, I enlisted. I, be, I, I dodged the draft. I enlisted. <laughs> um, were you living at home? Were yes. you on your own? Yes, I was, I was living with my parents at the time. And, and why did you join the service? Beat the draft. And why did you pick the Army? The only one that, that I could assimilate into. Well, what about your boot camp experience? Our uh, basic training was um, was interesting. It was at uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. And it was, the more interesting part was they, was before we got there. Uh, there were about, oh, 50 of us who had uh, enlisted that same day. And uh, we were told that the uh, the bus would be coming shortly to pick us up. Now, we enlisted at 8.30 that morning. The bus didn't come until 5.30 that afternoon. But every once in a while, one of the senior NCOs would come out and, out and ask what was going on and tell him, and he'd, he'd go back in his office and check something to come back and say, say the bus will be here shortly. And that lasted for eight hours. So it was, it was an interesting uh, situation. So you learned what shortly meant? In the yes. So I also learned that, yeah, that was the day that I learned what hurry up and wait means. How, how did you get through your boot camp? Well, I was, um, it was at the time when the, um, when Sergeant Barry Sadler had uh, come out with the song, the uh, Green Beret. And that was a, you know, something that I could fall back on to, uh, to think about, you know, what was going on. The basic training was, um, I won't say that it was boring or anything of that sort because you know, you're always in getting new situations. But it was it was not that, um, how should I put it, not that thought provoking, not that emotional or anything of that sort. It was, you know, it was just basic training. And we're where did you serve in the war? During the war? During the war. Um, well, I was mostly in the continental United States, uh, but I did have uh, uh, two, three tours, excuse me, three tours of duty in, uh, in Europe and uh, one plus in, uh, in Southeast Asia. Do you remember when you arrived in Southeast Asia what it was like? Hot, humid. Beautiful day, but it was hot and humid. The um, orientation was was interesting, and it got um, for those of us who were just coming in. It was it was most interesting. And what was your job assignment? I was a uh, I was a, a sec security officer. And did you see any combat? No, I didn't. No casualties in your unit at all? No. What the only casualties that we had were when somebody tripped over the sidewalk. And that was it. What, what were some of your most memorable experiences in the service? Throughout the whole um, career, the most memorable is the day that I was commissioned. And there were some others, a uh, couple of embarrassing moments. And uh, I'm sure that everybody's had them, but uh, one specifically, you know, two, two that I'll, I'll tell you about. Uh, we had a cat, and the, uh, the European doorknobs weren't knobs, they were handles. And my wife went over to see the neighbor and closed the door behind her. And about five minutes later, the cat came after her. And the cat jumped up and flipped the door handle to open the door, and then she came over to where my wife was. Needless to say, we switched the handle position. 
curious cat. Oh, yes. The other was um, a Sunday morning, somewhat embarrassing, funny. Uh, I took my children to, uh, to, ch to their Sunday school and came back home and was going to take a shower and you know, get ready for church. My wife and I were there and um, I had a habit of Sunday morning or whenever uh, walking from our bedroom into the uh, into the shower into the bathroom a distance of about five to eight feet with nothing on. Well this one Sunday morning the next door neighbor decided she wanted to come calling so she just opened the door and walked in. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. So you stayed in touch with your family while you were oh, yeah. overseas? Oh, yes. You were married by this point? Oh, yes. Married about a year and a half after I joined the Army. And what was your food like when you were overseas? It was good. The um, um, local food was, was very interesting. Um, some of the uh, Southeast Asian dishes and then um, some of the European things. It was all very good. Didn't run short of supplies or anything while you were there? Or? We were what would be called a peacetime army. Yes, the war was going on in Vietnam. However, where I was, we were well supplied with what we needed. And it was not asking too much, shall we say, and if you ran out of something to get it resupplied, we'll say within a month, um, that was fine because we had we were our needs were less than the um, people in the combat situation. Let's see. Oh, was there something you special you would do for good luck? No. 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 Were, were there entertainers? Did you get to oh, see yes. Bob Hope? I didn't see Bob Hope, but we did have USO shows that came through. Can you remember any of them? Uh, yeah. I can remember them coming through, but I cannot remember what they did. Sang and danced and all that good stuff, right? Told jokes. But the, there was... For a time, I was involved with the, um, the, Europe, the theater in Europe. The, in Frankfurt, Germany, and um, we had close contact with USO tours, and some of them were good and some of them were mediocre. So. Okay. What did you do when you were on leave? Usually came home to uh, my wife's parents' uh, place out here in, uh, in Indiana. Um, what I did on, on leave most of the time was during the summer, so I made hay. This could only be in the spot. Oh, yes. Let's see. And did you travel extensively while you were in the service, or? Well, three tours to, to uh, Europe and one to Southeast Asia. So the you know, traveling, I got to see. I didn't see the the uh, the country per se, but I landed when I was on my way to Southeast Asia. I landed at a number of airports on the way, and it was most interesting to see some of the uh, souvenirs and things of that sort. What did you think of your your commanders or your fellow soldiers? Did you have a, a buddy group? Usually, I had a fairly good rapport with them. Um, there were some that uh, personality clashes and happens in civilian life as well. Not everybody's going to be likable. Do you keep in touch with your fellow soldiers? We um, we made friends of a family, and that family now lives in Columbus, Ohio. And yes, we have stayed in touch with them. And there's a few others. One other another family that uh, is over in uh, Colorado. We're stay pretty much in touch with them, too. Do you remember the day that your service ended? Oh, yes. And where were you and what were your thoughts that day? The day my service ended, I was in um, Indianapolis at Fort Benjamin Harrison. 
and my thoughts are scattered that I really had no idea what I was going to do with myself afterwards. So the service had pretty much been oh, yes. your life? Yes. Did you, did you go back to school or did you go to work? I tried to go back to school. Uh, I have a situation where I cannot uh, study very well. So schooling was pretty much out. I tried to uh, get a couple of jobs and I, so I remained remained to this day retired. Did you join any veterans organizations oh, yes. or anything? Oh yes. And you have affiliations with those now? Yes, I do. And did your military experience influence your thinking about the war or the military in general? Did it strengthen them or influence my thinking about the war and how do you mean? Did it, did it give you a, a positive idea of why they were there, or...? My experience in the military, in, in coupled with my life experiences, I have my, my opinions about the war in Vietnam. I lost three good friends and a man that could have been my twin brother. I have my, as I said, I have my own opinions of, of the war why it started, how it started, who started it. And this interview is not the place to discuss it. Yeah. Do you ever attend reunions with your, with your comrades? Never heard of a reunion yet. And is there anything else you'd like to add that we haven't covered? Not or really. it's yours? Not really, yeah. except that uh, the um, protesters you know, every war has them. Protesters that uh, would be would do well to think that the people that are over fighting the war are protecting their right to rebel. Very good. Thank you. Thank you.